The greatest scoring game by a Nick opponent in the history of the world's most famous arena. 59 points and a chance to pass Bernard King with these two free throws coming out. 59 points most ever by a Nick opponent here at the Garden. Now the most points ever by anyone here at the Garden was Christmas Day 1984, the great Bernard King. But he threw up 60 against the New Jersey Nets. The Knicks wound up losing this game. King was unstoppable on that Christmas day, much like Kobe Bryant was here today. An array of moves for Bernard King. Uh, moved to his 60. Bryant with 59. He's been spectacular from the free throw line. LeBron James, who's going to be here Wednesday, will he try and top his 50-point mark? Richard Hamilton had 51 and three overtimes, and of course the double nickel, which prior to tonight was the highest by an opponent ever in this building. But now Kobe Bryant has the record. And he can add to it right now. Two free throws here. And no one will ever have scored more points in an NBA game at Madison Square Garden than Kobe Bryant. 18 for 18 at the line. So we started the night with a lot of hoopla and pageantry. Lakers coming in, the Knicks hot on a winning streak. 60. And this man has deflated the Knicks crowd. Only the Lakers crowd happy right now with this proliferation by Kobe. But look at the free throws, folks. Over 20 points. All of his points mostly here in this quarter have been from the free throw line. 61. A new Garden record, Kobe Bryant, 61 points, most points ever scored here at Madison Square Garden. Chandler's jumper. That won't go. Thomas the rebound. Lakers up by 20. This is the largest lead of the game. And Duhon launches a three. Tipped a couple of times. Gallinari can't get it to go, and Odom has it. I'm surprised Phil is leaving Kobe out there. Ariza will try it over alley -oop. Usually there's someone along the bench as Gallinari tiptoes to get it who keeps a coach up to date in terms of records and how many more a person needs or a player needs if it's a triple-double or a new franchise record. So Jackson's probably aware as David Lee puts it in at a foul. Yeah, but now, and I think he's going to come out right now. Yeah, yeah, he's got to take it. Sun comes in. And he comes in for Kobe Bryant. And here comes the standing ovation. One of the greatest individual performances and the highest scoring game ever here at the Garden. 61 points for Kobe Bryant. An electrifying performance here at Madison Square Garden. And the MVP chance cascading from the Raptors. Bryant, like many elite players, love to talk about playing here on this stage in the building that's had the nickname World's Most Famous Arena for so long. They love to play here, and you could tell from the opening tip that he was looking to score and looking to have a dominant game. 19 of 31 from the field, 20 of 20 from the free throw line. And he is atop the scoring list here at this great building. And his eruption just demoralized the Knicks. They could not get into a rhythm offensively. Lee to Thomas, Thomas to Jam. It's He's the type of player he can single-handedly deflate a team's defense, and he yeah. certainly did that tonight. Yep, and the crowd just took it away from the Knicks. All the hoopla that we started the game with. But it has nothing to do with the Knicks now, folks. I mean, so they lost to the Lakers. They're still playing well, and they can regroup for the next game. They've got big games coming up. But tonight, it was all about Kobe Bryant. We'll hear from Kobe Bryant coming up on our post-game show. As David Lee knocks it down, we'll hear from Mike D'Antoni and his thoughts at his press conference. We'll go into the locker rooms and get reaction to the greatest scoring game in the history of Madison Square Garden. Well, D'Antoni thought he was going to come down to earth. <laughs> so they never looked to double team Kobe. They just let him run him up. He'll come down to earth tomorrow. <laughs> so those are the strategies that you have with a superstar. Tonight they gambled and lost. Well, there were a lot of Lakers fans here, and they gave him a standing ovation when he was taken out. But there were a lot of Nick fans as well. We've seen the Nick fans and how they treat great opposing players. They get booed, but they also understand brilliant performances. And Kobe Bryant was brilliant tonight. And that's how legends are made. 
So this will be remembered a long time that Mike Kobe got 60 on the Knicks 61. And to think of it, Clyde, he's 20 shy of his career. Right. <laughs> that night when he had 81, that's his career. So the Knicks winning streak will end at three. Their home winning streak will end at five. And he only played 36 minutes, 61 points in 36 minutes. Josh Powell won't go. Tip misses. And the fans here certainly disappointed in a Nick loss, but they witness one of the brilliant performances in the history of this building. The greatest scoring game in the history of Madison Square Garden now belongs to Kobe Bryant. 61 points tonight as the Lakers defeat the Knicks. A juggernaut, an offensive juggernaut was Bryant tonight. He started out hot from the perimeter. That meant trouble because now the Knicks had to come up. And when they did that, he penetrated at will. He found his teammates. So a brilliant performance by Kobe. An unprecedented performance tonight offensively for an opposition team. And the Knicks threw a slew of defenders at him, tried to double team him. Nobody able to stop him. A big win for the Lakers. And right now, Lamar Odom at 14 rebounds. He's with Tina Savasio. All right, Mike, thank you. Lamar, you guys get here today and find out that you've lost Andrew Bynum for 8 to 12 weeks. Is this the kind of games the Lakers put out there to show you that nothing will deter this team? Oh, uh, it's nothing like playing basketball in New York City. Uh, we can't here. We're focused. Uh, we know we we're going to lose Andrew for a little while. We didn't know how long. And we're just trying to keep the momentum going. You know, he'll be missed. Kobe Bryant with 61 points. That's a Garden record, and that is one of the greatest individual performances by a Knicks opponent here at the Garden. You got a Garden record for a Knicks opponent? Yes, it is, and it's a it's a Garden record with 61 points alone. I mean, what can you say about the way your teammate just played out of his mind? Yeah, you never know, you never know. He's been around him. He's a tremendous talent. Um, uh, he takes your breath away. You know, your coach uh, before the game talked a lot about getting it done where where you did guys didn't get it done in the finals last year what will it take for the lakers to go all the way and, and finish out the rest of the season defense these defense um in order to win a championship you have to be the, the best defensive team in the league um and if we can do that then we can win a championship lamar thank you very much for your time no problem thank you mike back to you all right tina his teammate says he takes your breath away he certainly did that for the fans tonight as we look at our Land Rover extraordinary play, of course, part of the 61 point performance from Kobe Bryant. Land Rover designed for the extraordinary. Two of his 19 field goals, 19 for 31. Now Kobe Bryant does a mass press conference at the end, and he'll be part of our post game coverage. He does with the Laker TV as well right now. And we'll hear from him later about his brilliant record-setting performance here at the Garden. 61 for Kobe Bryant. Lakers beat the Knicks.